Hi everyone, it's Peyton here. I have been requested to do kind of a different look today from my friend Amber. Link please Liz to her blog. And I recently met Amber about two months ago at a Led Zeppelin tribute concert. And she's a fashion blogger from the Nashville area like I am. And she looks pretty much exactly like me only you shrink her. She's about five feet tall and I'm about five foot nine. She's helped me out a lot starting off my blog, link please Liz, and um, I really, she's just such a good spirit and she's such a sweet, just beautiful person on the inside and out. There was a look that she found that was really similar to her own makeup, so we decided to call it the Amber Look. So it's a real classic, it's almost like a rockabilly pinup, but she is uh, very sweet and she reminds me a lot of Zoe Deschanel in her style and her overall look. She's very girly and feminine and I feel like I have a problem with my bangs in every video. Alright, so we're pinning those out of the way. My foundation is already on and powdered and I really need to get my brows done because they're not looking so hot right now. So foundation concealer, powder, and then uh, primers underneath it. I used, I'm really liking this primer, I, not this one. I got it at um, Sally's, and it's Mineral Effects Face Primer, and I use it on my lids too, it works pretty good. All right, so Amber has really rosy cheeks, and I'm going to use Dolly Mix by MAC. I'm running way low of it, and just fluffy blush brush. I've had this forever, I don't know where I got it, I really like it, and just load up your brush. Smile apples of the cheeks and blend it out. Um, what style is to nickel is another makeup artist on YouTube and I really like his videos and he says the, that we're doing the blush face wrong. The blush face is supposed to be duck face. So whatever, we can do it either way. I like him because he's Australian. Like Liz. And like I said, I've already primed my eyelid. So she's got big blue eyes, but I have big hazel eyes. So I'm going to adapt this a little bit. I'm taking, what is this kit called? 24 Gilded Violets Blush Perfect Decadent Pink. Oh, it's a set. So this, what's this called? This is an American Beauty. Um, Cole sells it, that's why I have it. But I think it's one of my mom's that I stole. But it's a set like that. And it's a goldy color and the eggplant color, we're not using that, and then the pinky color. So I'm going to take, you know what, I don't even need a brush for this. I'm going to take my finger because I do this all the time anyway. And load up that middle finger. I'm such a professional, right? And just pop it all over your lid, up to the brow bone. This is a nice goldy color, but it's just, it's not too goldy, it's a peach to it. I'm going to take my 88 palette and I'm going to put a warm brown. I'm going to take this one because I really like it and I've used up a lot of my other one right here. I'm just going to load up my, this is my Cadillac of all brushes. This is the MAC 226. And right, I have a really defined crease, but if you don't, then you can make one. So we're just going to blend that in right in the crease like that. I've got a mirror right next to me, thank goodness. All right, dropped it in my sink. So just like that, and we want to pack this on. We want that really, really brown. So then over here, do like windshield wiper motion. It's really hard to talk with your hand on your face. Gosh, Peyton. All right, need a little bit more over here, and that's gonna be. There we go, like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect right now. And then the secret to making, well, I like making my eyes green because I prefer them to be green than brown, um, is I put, in this case, if it were amber, she would put like a pinky color. But because my eyes are hazel, I'm going to put a uh, lilac. Tap off that brush, actually, it's the same one. And just dip it in that, that lilac color, the lavender color. And I'm going to put it right above it. I've actually done this look with um, hot pink and it's really pretty too. And I usually don't like pink. I wish the camera had better um, color quality in it. 
I feel like I'm painting like I look like a clown, but I'm really not. All right, take um, my finger in that white highlight color, the second one. I need a new palette, can you guys tell? And under the brow bone, and just blend it out with your finger. I'm all about using your fingers when you don't need to buy a $20 brush to do your job for you. And that just little blends it out. Same on the other side. My brows are looking rather caterpillar-esque right now. I might keep them. What do you think? So I'm going to go back in with an angled brush or a flat brush. This is an angled and a flat brush. Flat brush. What's on my flat brush? Flat brush. And I'm going to take a the second or that's the black, that's the dark. Second from the black, it's the dark brown. And I'm going to go in and make this crease really defined. The warm brown was to soften it up. And then we're going to go on the other side and do the same thing. This is just to get your eyes really defined. Because the thing is, um, you don't want to go overboard with it, but, and then just blend that out too. But you want it to be a little bit darker than the top. And this is a disclaimer, you guys. Lizzie and I are not professional makeup artists, so our techniques probably aren't up to professional standards, but this is how we do it, and this is the request that we get. So we got a couple haters hating on us for not being professional. Well, we all have day well, Lizzie doesn't have a day job. Lizzie's a musician, but I have a day job, and you know. Stop hating, Playa. Take my liquid liner, and like I said, this is the last one I used in my Bardot video. This is Telescopic by L'Oreal, and the waterproof, the waterproof, and I don't like it, but it stays on. So this is all about the liner on the top, and I'm gonna go starting from about midway. Um, the way this product dries, I'm not a huge fan of it because it dries up like lash glue and um, makes it really like hard to um, to work with once you like try to get your your wings and your eyes even. Everyone's eyes are different, but that's the basic concept of the liner on this look. It's very um, 60s inspired. Um, the pinup girls really didn't wear that much eyeliner, like the original eye, the original pinup girls. It kind of got more cartoonish as the, it went on, and I really like the rockabilly look. That's kind of what we're going for, I guess. So we did the liquid liner, and now something that Amber always does, and I do it sometimes when I don't do um, liner on the bottom, is white eyeliner in your waterline. And the point of white liner in your waterline is to make your eyes look bigger, and then the white next to the whites of your eyes makes it stand out more. All right, so I'm gonna take, pull my eye down. This is Fascinating by MAC. It's their white pencil, it's got black on it. Um, white. And I'm just gonna go in here. And with this product, um, any white liner I've noticed on me, I don't know, if just for you guys, let me know, um, tends to tends to uh, go away after a while, so I pack it on. It's just a nice little difference, um, especially in photos, wedding pictures, or prom, or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, so mascara. Uh, for a pinup look, I would normally do lashes, but because this is Amber's look, actually, Amber's looks a little bit different than this, that the picture that she sent me um, was similar to this eyeliner. Amber usually turns her liner down. Uh, kind of like Marilyn Monroe used to do, but this is my take on Amber. So I'm going to do mascara. This is Lashadelic by Flirt. Like I said, I'm not crazy about it, but I got it at a discount. The only mascara I really ever liked is Smoky Lash by Makeup Forever. That was the bomb.com, but it was $20 per tube. Liquid liner needs to be thrown out every three months. And mascara does as well. Ladies, keep bugs out of your eyes. And gentlemen, if you're into that. Alright, so mascara on the top only. I'm going to take a nude lip liner. I don't even know. I've had this forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. This is by Cargo. And it's called the Reverse Lip Liner. And I'm going to go, um, we're doing a bright red lip. 
like I said, Amber usually does a dark red lip, but she came over to my house and really liked the bright red lip, so we're doing that. So I'm going to go outside my lip line, just outside of it. Mm -hmm. Got the song Going Mobile by The Who stuck in my head right now, so if you hear me singing it, I'm sorry. There it goes. Alright, so we just went outside of our lips. You can't really tell in the lighting, but it's just to keep the liner under control. And I've already moisturized my lips as well. This is um, Rimmel. It's called A Thousand Kisses. And it's in red dynamite, like Napoleon. So I'm just going to go over the reverse lip liner. keeps the color on better. It looks like <laughs> some weird issue. This is Russian Red by MAC. It's my favorite red. I have four or five red lipsticks. This is my favorite. Uh, I like Ruby Woo too, but this one is more conditioning than Ruby Woo. So. Bangs back down with like a number of a flock of seagulls. <laughs> Ow! It's relatively painful. Take this out. And there you have it. There you have the signature Modest June slash Amber Rose slash easy to do pinup. I hope you guys like this. I hope that Amber's readers of her blog, one more time for the people in the cheap seats, bling, like her, or sorry, kablam, like her blog, and I hope they'll follow me on mine, kablam, <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Mwah. Red lipstick this time. Bye.